Hi, everybody. This is Rich Little. I'm sure you will enjoy using phonies on your answering machine as much as I've enjoyed doing them for you. The voices on this tape have been specially prepared to get you more messages. And now here's how to use them to best advantage. I, I, thank you, Rich. Uh, using any standard cassette player, listen to the phonies' voices and then choose one. Ah, uh, three seconds before each voice, there's a cueing chime. Now this indicates that you have three seconds before the phony's voice starts. Now in a quiet place, record your phony's voice from the cassette player's speaker into the answering machine's microphone. Now you can personalize your tapes in several ways, either by inserting your voice before or after the phony's voice. Now this way your friends will know that they have reached you and not a wrong number. My fellow Americans, you can experiment with the distance between your answering machine's microphone and your cassette player's speaker for best results. Approximately three to four inch separation with a medium volume setting is recommended. Just remember, phonies will work on all types of answering machines, single cassette or loop, regardless of the make and age of the machine. Two pays are not recommended. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Rich Little's phonies. Well, uh, thank you very much. Oh, Rochester, how much did you say this answering machine cost me? Here's a receipt, Mr. Benny. Gee, for this I could have paid off my dues at the club. Yeah, but the YMCA doesn't take messages. Now cut that out. You mean I have to provide the service free? I wonder if it's deductible. There's no one home, sweetheart. I'm here watching myself make love to Monroe, Lee, Crawford, and a whole lot of others on Gable Television. Lee? Oh, Vivian Lee, yes. <clears throat> I'm so tired that if you don't want to leave a message, frankly, my damn, I don't give a dear. A recent survey has determined that men who make obscene phone calls have sexual hang-ups. And they pay enormous fees to have professionals like myself answer for them. Those who don't make obscene phone calls can leave a message on a machine after the beep. Well, my fellow Americans, I have been saying over and over that there is no unemployment in America today. That's just a silly rumor started by a bunch of people who are out of work. If you will leave your name and your number at the sound of the tone, I will get back to you with an autographed picture of food on Nancy's China. Hello, darling. Oh, I'm so upset. I was just clipping the poodles, and I think all the poodles are gay. They keep hugging all the legs on the furniture. So please, I can't come to the phone. So just leave your name and number. No, Fifi, get off my leg. Hi. My only regret is that I can't sit in the audience and watch myself or talk to myself on the phone. Now I have an answering machine, and I find the idea of listening to myself fascinating. Don't you? Oh, I just love playing Anne Margaret. How are ya? You just reached the president of dial -a prayer The prayer stops here. Anyway, your friends aren't here. You might try them on the hotline. But leave your name and your number here just in case they arrive. You never know. Down in the garden where the red roses grow. Great, hockey puck. Great, you've got all the timing of the Iranian invasion. They're not available at the moment, dummy. Probably up in the room, fooling around. <laughs> am, am I going too fast for you? Why don't we put it on tape and have a transplant it in your head? I'm a nice man. I'm a nice man. I'm a nice man. Uh.
Ah, wait a minute. I know exactly what you're going to do. I'll hang up and then go around spreading wild rumors that I don't know how to make a decent message. I proved beyond a shadow of a doubt and with clever copy in a disguised voice that I could. Now, if there's anything I've left out, just... I'll just leave it at the beep. Hi there, fun seekers. There's no one home at the moment. But they've been saying that about me for years. <laughs> at the sound of the tone, leave a message. But watch out. Last clown who did that got caught in the machine and and beeped himself to death. Ah, all over the yard. Ah, it was horrible. Ah. Well, well, I finally did it. Uh, I, I broke down and bought one of these modern contraptions that answers my telephone. So, leave a message and maybe we'll get together later and suck face. Take me home, take me home, home is where I want to be. Hey, wow, man, this is really cool. I mean, you know, like I dig you guys digging me, digging me, digging my answering machine, you know what I mean? Anyway, like if you want me to call you back, like, you know, you better leave your name and your number, you know what I mean? And that's the end of this volume of Rich Little's Phonies. If you have ideas for future phonies that you'd like us to hear, send them to Phonies, Box 2110, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 08003. And say the secret word and you may win $100. That's right, if we use it, we'll send you something special. Maybe Linda Carter? Well, not that special. <laughs>